Hello, welcome back. I'm in Miami on a training camp-ish of sorts. I am seeing a very good friend out here experiencing what Miami has to offer in terms of bike riding. There is a hill, just one, and I will show you that. We're doing some road riding today. We're doing some gravel riding. There's gonna be a crit as well, which is very exciting to actually pin a number on my back or not pin a number on my back, obviously. Slide it into a pocket. But yeah, today's gravel day. Gravel suit. Well, suit, gravel. Jersey and shorts. It's gonna be about five hours on the pedals, which is a big ride. That's a big ride for me nowadays. Still before 7 a.m. Things happen early over here. Chain gang starts at half six. We're rolling out the door before seven on this uh, gravel ride. It's mainly because Miami is hot all year round. You know it's hot because Miami people will tell you that. Apparently they're like Brits, they talk about the weather. So uh, yeah, got me GoPros. Go show you the, show you the roads and try and avoid the alligators. So I'm gonna show you this household is very about, it's very matchy-matchy. So I've been very fortunate enough to be loaned a bike by Barry, so thank you Barry. That is very much on brand. It is the S-Works Diverge. So a step up from mine in the UK. Mine's an expert. This is great, nice color scheme. And it's my size, which is convenient as well. It's an interesting group set on it. We have Durace Cranks, Ultegra RX rear mech, some non-hydraulic TRP calipers, cables linked to Durace levers. Yeah, and then these wheels, which I'm not familiar with. Hyper, they're called, which uh, I think it's an American, American brand. Sele Italia seat. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and SRAM disc brake rotors, so. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. I have bought my own road bike after the mistakes I made in New Zealand. I bought my road bike, so this is my SL8. It's great, and then this is, this is John's setup. This is John's Ostro and John's Ostro Gravel. Both cracking bikes in a Miami colorway. It's like a, it's a, a satin, a satin finish on there. So, yeah. Factor Astro, great bike, really good bike. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This, um, I'd be very happy on one of those, and I'm very happy on my Swerks. Both of them today. <laughs> I have no idea how much gas to put in gravel. I think that's all gravel people talk about, is what type of tires and how much pressure. PSI. Yeah. This is tubeless as well, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Nice. American gravel roads, I should have known. Very, very straight. I mean, look at that behind. So straight, real smooth as well. It's quite, it's like road, but it's like coming back gravel is about, it's not off-road, it's like being off the road is what I've gathered from gravel. So we're gonna turn around and go back, but it's, yeah, not seeing a single car or another cyclist. This is great, this is great. <laughs> what is it wrong with my tires? We have a puncture. A puncture. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let it out. Yeah. Half an hour. 20. Yeah. Well, I've got a, um, in the UK, electric one. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Size of a credit card, but then the width of a tire. And the USB-C port to charge it is also the inlet for air. That's brilliant. And you can probably get, I'd say, two Cheers. gravel tires out of a charge. That is brilliant. Yeah. Just uses external outside air, compresses yep. it, puts it in. Yeah. That's it, gravel, 155k we did, 155k. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be doing that on a gravel bike ever without a number being pin pinned on my back. So um, yeah, it was a big day, enjoyed that. Did enjoy that. Gravel's very straight, we're both pretty cooked. I've got salt on my shorts, which again, not something that happens in the winter much. Yeah, another 100 mile day tomorrow and then we're doing a race. Could call it panic training for the race. Day two, day two in the, in the Big Brother house. The legs are heavy, very, very heavy. And we're going on a chain gang. Chain gang from the Zeal bike shop which is very cool because the owner of Zeal is also a haemophiliac and Gunter. We uh, do something cool today. Um, by the time you, this will be on Instagram, by the time you see this it would have been gone just with the way YouTube editing works and whatnot but I'm going to drop some No Pins Pro 1 kit into Gunter's shop called Zeal in Miami in Coconut Grove area of Miami? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, South Miami, there we go. I'm gonna do that. First one to go in, make a purchase, and find the kit on the shelf, gets to keep the kit. Like I said, this would have been an Instagram thing because it's far more instant, and YouTube editing takes a little while, so uh, sorry, it's gone. Yeah, and we're gonna do the club run chain gang. This is a big chain gang, and this is the, I think the more controlled one. There's something called the Don Pan, which apparently is, is, is legendary. Any traffic laws are disobeyed but there's, like, the police are aware, there's spectators, it's live streamed, it's a chain gang with a finish line, and there's some pretty huge images on social media of chain gang just spreading out across three lanes of a, of a highway and somehow that being kind of okay. So we're not gonna do that. Um, so we're doing this today, which should be about 100 mile. After yesterday's, just short of 100 mile, and then we're gonna do a crit. Some would call this panic training. I'd call this panic train. <laughs> Another view on a GoPro that is spectacular for me and will not be. Will not look as good on the YouTube. That's downtown Miami by bike at night on Miami's highest pass. We could call it a pass, couldn't we? Yeah, a call. Because we are passing downtown Miami. There you go. <laughs> and 32 meters. <laughs> <laughs> KM, nice pace, nice pace. Oh, we're on wet road, so it's basically like being in the UK in January. Everyone's white socks are dirty. And we're gonna start complaining about a lack of long mud guards soon. But <laughs> just fast, it's so flat, it's just fast. You're just chopping along at 24 mile an hour all the time. And about 150, 170 watts in the wheel. Nice, good, good pace.
That's the end of the ride. That is a filthy, filthy bicycle. This is not what I expected coming to Miami. I didn't expect to take home a dirty bike, but here we are. It was really nice. So many people, very friendly, very um, like Spanish and English on the on the ride. Like, it was probably more Spanish, really. This is huge. South American uh, community here. Really nice, rounded out the ride with a meet up with a chap I've been coaching for a year now. We did an hour record. It's the second hour record that Thighs Club have, uh, no, it was the first hour record that Thighs Club coaching has uh, helped with. You know, played a small part and Brad, yeah, gave me a chain ring. Ah, ah really cool. That's, I knew I wanted to help people, enjoy helping people get better, go faster. So that, there's, that's like the ultimate. And you know, I know a thing or two about an hour record. So we have a race tomorrow and that is maybe a ride on Monday, maybe. And then that is, that is it for Miami, my, the Miami, Miami stint. And it's so far, I just can't get over the cycling community here. Like the size of it. I just these, these like we're, what was it? A 60 rider group ride this morning, 60, 70 rider. I saw like another two of those and I'm not going to say that the riding here is is good. I mean, it's very straight. It's, it's flatter than flat, but it is. Yeah, it's the it's the people that really make the riding here, not the not the terrain. So um, yeah, I'd recommend. I'd recommend.